to the Heal Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Randy Marks, healer, teacher, creator, now turned podcast producer, and lover of all things spiritual. As the owner of a healing and wellness practice, I work with clients one-on-one. The transformations I witness in my clients is profound, and I felt called to create a podcast where I can offer these tools to all of you so that you too can create the life destined for you. I believe when we are connected to the light of the creator, even when life feels like it's falling apart, somehow we are okay. We don't really know why, but there is something magical about this connection. And it is my intention to remind you through each episode that this connection is always available for you. So here I am presenting to you my first podcast episode. I am really excited to announce I'll be releasing this podcast once a month and I'll be talking about consciousness, healing, energy, destiny, mysticism, and life in general. This podcast is aimed at improving your life and the way you live, think, and act. I will offer tools you can begin implementing right away and spiritual homework to stay on track in between episodes. Now, if you like the sound of this, please subscribe to this podcast. And to learn more about me, you can visit my website at randymarks.com. And while you are there, sign up to become a subscriber. You can also follow me on Instagram at randymarks.healer or on YouTube at randymarks. You can also send me a message and let me know if there is a topic you'd want to learn more about. It felt fitting for today's episode to speak about what it means to use your voice and to be able to tell the truth. I will admit that I have hidden behind my clients where it's a safe and contained space. They show up purposely to hear what I have to say and to receive my intuitive guidance. So the risks are low in that environment for me. But sometimes we need to be brave and find the courage to step out of our comfort zones and speak out in a way where we may feel more vulnerable. So for me, creating this podcast is stepping out of my comfort zone. So what would stepping out of your comfort zone look like for you? And to be able to share your voice with the world because the world needs to hear what you have to say. I spent the first part of my life speaking up a lot for myself and other people. I took on the role of defender for those who were too afraid to speak up for themselves. So I became a target by doing that and soon enough I caved to societal demands and grew tired of being out front. The pendulum then swung for me in the opposite direction where I shut down and stopped saying anything at all. When something was on my mind or bothering me, I would repress it because the blowback of speaking up had now bullied me into silence. Perhaps you have found yourself in a similar situation at least at least once in your life. There were two lessons I learned from this experience. One was when you speak up, you will stand out. And two, that by speaking up for another person, I was taking the opportunity away from that person to learn how to do so for themselves. So part of using our voice is to be unafraid of standing out, no matter what the cost. We are currently living in a world that tells us if we don't say the quote, right thing based on someone's version of the truth, we will be canceled and have our lives destroyed. It's very strong messaging to tread lightly, or it could be the end of your life as you know it. 
So how can we find the courage to say what we need to say when it could mean that things change after? The easiest way to begin is by telling the truth to those closest to you. Begin there. Notice when you overshare opinions or repress emotions. Then start to find balance between the two. Learn to choose your battles by saying what needs to be said if it's helpful and just listen and not say anything at all if not. Once you get good at practicing with those closest to you, you will naturally begin applying the skill in work situations, social situations, or any situation you find yourself in. You will learn to be your own best advocate and no one can represent you better than you. Humans are reactive by nature and the key to using your voice in a balanced way is to pause and sit with the situation at hand. You may find over time that you aren't that bothered after all and are glad you didn't say anything. Or it may become very clear that a hard, truthful conversation is needed. So the tool I want to give you this month is to pause. To pause, to just be in it, to not react. Give the situation space, give what you need to say space, and not be reactive. Use the pause as your tool to check yourself and to make sure that what you are saying needs to be said and that you are saying it in a clear, truthful, and and an intentional way. So now that you have a practical tool that you can begin implementing into your life, I now want to offer you spiritual homework to practice this month, which is to start telling the truth. Like I said earlier, you can begin being honest with those around you, with yourself, at work, in situations. And being honest doesn't mean being hurtful. I want to clarify that. Being honest means that if there is something that needs to be said that you want to say and the moment is right and it feels right and it doesn't feel hurtful, I want you to start practicing speaking up, saying your truth, even if it might not be popular, to start standing up for yourself, to expressing yourself, and to not repress your emotions or your voice because you are afraid of what could happen if you do. So your spiritual homework is to practice telling the truth. When you speak the truth and things end badly, don't let that dissuade you from speaking up the next time. You cannot control the outcome of of a situation. You cannot control the reactions of another person. You can only control your own reactions that's where the tool of the pause comes in but you can feel good that what you said needed to be said so practice this this month notice where there's resistance notice where you repress notice where there are obstacles this is going to be important information for you and finding the balance in your voice and identifying where you're not speaking up enough versus where you're maybe oversharing or speaking up too much. So find the balance. This podcast can be found on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. If you enjoyed listening, please share with your friends and loved ones. I thank you so much for listening and I will see you on the next episode. Thank you.